Guys, I am so excited. There's a bug right on the... I'm super excited. We are getting ready to paint the bus, finally, if the rain is gonna work with us. So we have behind us our 39-foot Bluebird school bus. As you can tell, it was painted before. The people before us halfway converted it. You can see on our Instagram, we kind of just redid everything, ripped all that out and started new. But they did lay some paint down. I'm probably gonna have to do more work than some of you. I'm gonna have to go and sand every square inch of it. Uh, so far, I've spent 12 hours sanding, mostly just on one side, so it's a lot of work. So the three big things that I would recommend, orbital sander, definitely a mask is gonna help, and just a huge stack of sandpaper. And so here's a really important tip when you're sanding and why I got such a, a large thing of uh, sandpaper because even though the sandpaper might still look good, once it starts to wear down, which does not take very long, you could actually be buffing your material instead of scuffing it. Don't be afraid to go through paper. Uh, this side here, honestly, I probably used 15 to 20 pieces. Let's get to sanding. Sanding's done. Put like a solid 19 hours total sanding. I know, it sounds, it sounds like I'm making it up. It sucked every day. Like it seriously, it sucked. Today was like the least amount of fun I've had working on something in the bus. Usually like there's some kind of problem you have to figure out. There's something, just something about it that's kind of cool and fun. Sanding's not that. Next up, we're gonna wash. We're gonna acetone wash, tape. We got a lot to do yet, but we're halfway there. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the surface. Obviously, we've got some sand dust. We're gonna use acetone. There are several different cleaners that you can use that are specifically for prepping. Basically, you just wanna get rid of all the wax and the grease and anything that's gonna mess up your paint job. I'm sticking with acetone because this is what I use to cut enamel paint. So it's a two-in-one for me. I'm gonna use it to cut and I can also use it to prep. Uh, so all you're gonna need for that is obviously your surface cleaner a towel, um, some gloves, and I went with the mask. So some quick tips. First thing you should do, wash your bus down really good. Uh, I've sanded first instead, but apparently you can sand some of the contaminants down into the paint that already exists. Then do your solvent to clean all that sanding dust off and stuff. Uh, the one key thing though about washing, wait several days until you paint. There's a ton of areas that water can get in and even like bolts and stuff, water can get around there and whenever you're going to be spraying with your paint, it's just going to blow that water all over your paint job. We got the bus pulled into a pole barn. That way we're kind of out of the elements whenever we paint. Where you're going to wrap it uh, with plastic, kind of make a curtain out of it so that we can paint with a sprayer. And so before that, we're gonna tape it up. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So you're gonna need a whole bunch of tape. Uh, this stuff is really useful. It's just masking paper is what it's called. And then some drop plastic if you're gonna be using a gun. done taping so I want to show you what that looks like real quick and this like really cool curtain that we ended up putting together and we have to put a little door on it here but I mean it's like 13 foot up and you can actually just find this drop cloth like almost anywhere it's 12 foot by 400 foot oh <laughs> taking a break excuse me <laughs> After uh, several days of taping, prepping, sanding, finally ready to mix some paint. The paint that we went with is an industrial oil enamel that we're actually going to mix with a hardener. It's going to make it a lot more durable and it's going to make it dry a lot faster. We've also mixed in 10% acetone to help it go on a little smoother through the spray gun. 
If you find that it's still pretty thick, you can add a little acetone as you go and test it on a subject. And then for the bumpers, we're just gonna use another uh, similar oil-based enamel that's like an anti-rust. This is pretty much just like a Rust-Oleum knockoff, sorta. We are done painting. We've waited a little bit and now we're starting to take all the masking tape off. So I've got three quick tips about taping. Uh, number one, you see that green tape she's got right there? That is automotive masking tape. Far superior to the blue. The blue actually came down while I was spraying. It just blew right off of there. So go with the automotive, we didn't have that issue. Tip number two, wait just a little bit. Let it be dry to the touch but don't let it be completely dry because if you tear that tape off, it's gonna take paint with it. And then tip number three is while you're prepping, before you paint, don't take too many days to paint and take that tape off of there. The more days that you have that tape on, it's gonna leave residue, it's gonna get really stuck and get hard to pull off of there. So try to keep it about under two days. And there's your quick three tips for taping.